Hello. In this lecture, we'll be learning about the basics of the last DC-DC converter of this course, which is the Zeta converter. Here is the circuit of Zeta converter. There is a switch, two inductors, and a capacitor, and a load bank. So, and the diode pointing upwards. Uh, from uh, like the uh, like the mathematical analysis we have done so far, we will also consider the on uh, two different stages of the switch: the on state and the off state. Uh, when the switch is on, since there are two inductors L1 and L2 involved, we have to make calculations separately. So when the switch is on, first we are calculating for L1. For L1, current flows in this direction, obviously. So as a result, we can write if this is the in and this is the L1. We can write from simple KVL minus the I plus V L1 1 is equal to 0 or V L1 is equal to V I. We give it equation number 1. When the switch is off for L1, when the switch was on, the L1 was being charged in this direction. When the switch gets off, since no current can flow to this switch any longer the L1 will get discharged and it will get discharged in this direction as a result the path of discharge will be this because the diode here will be forward biased and as a result this will be a short circuit and the path of discharge will follow this this direction so we are considering plus minus BC plus minus BL1 so similarly for L1 here when the switch is off we get uh, plus VL1 minus VC is equal to 0 from basic KVL or pressure voltage law so we get VL1 is equal to VC we put this equation number 2 now in case of VL1 we know that 0 to T integration of VL1 dT is equal to 0 so if we modify it we will get from 0 to T on our VL1 was equal to VI and from T on to T our VL1 is, was equal to VC and the summation is 0 from there we can get VI T on plus VC T minus T on is equal to 0 from there we get VI T on is equal to Vc T on minus T Vc is equal to Vi T on divided by T on minus T if we divide both sides by T here to we'll get Vc is equal to Vi Vc is equal to Vi D by D minus 1 so we put this thing as equation 3 we will be requiring this equation later now we will be considering the second inductor L2 for the second inductor when the switch is on the current can flow in this direction which charges this capacitor on and this inductor also on so we are considering plus minus Vc plus minus VL2 plus minus V output and plus minus V input what we get is from simple KVL minus VI plus VC plus VL2 plus V output is equal to 0 from that we get VL2 is equal to VI minus VC plus V output we are considering equation number 4 now when the switch is off, this uh, inductor has been charged in this direction and it will have to get discharged in this direction. So the flow of current or the direction of the flow of current is this. So we are considering V plus minus VL2 plus minus VO. So when the switch is off for L2, uh, simple KVL says VL2 plus V output is equal to 0 or VL2 is equal to minus V output. We put this equation number 5. 
now for the second inductor 2 we can write uh, integration of 0 to t vl2 dt is supposed to be 0 if that is 0 0 to t on uh, from 0 to t on vl2 was v in minus vc minus v output dt uh, plus integration of t on to t vl2 was minus v naught dt is equal to 0 from there we get v in t on minus vc t on minus v naught t on minus v naught t plus v naught t on is equal to 0 now we are cancelling out v naught t on and v naught t on from this we get v c t on is equal to v in t on minus v naught t so we are, we are dividing both sides by t on we will get v c is equal to v in minus v naught t by t on or therefore we get v c is equal to v in minus v naught by d since t on by t is equal to d t by t on is equal to 1 by d so from this we, uh, we are considering this as equation number 6 now from equation 3 and equation 6 we have obtained two relations of v c from equation 3 we have obtained v c is equal to t by uh, t minus 1 v in and from equation 6 we have obtained vc is equal to v in minus v naught by t so if we combine the two we get v naught by t is equal to v in 1 minus t by t minus 1 is equal to v in t minus 1 minus t by t minus 1 v in uh, minus 1 by d minus 1 or the output becomes <coughs> minus d by d minus 1 into v in we can see the relationship is similar to the cephic converter that is it can step up it can step up and increase the output voltage if d is greater than 0 0.5 it can step down or decrease the output voltage when d is less than 0 0.5 and the in the, uh, the voltage of the input will have the same polarity as the voltage of the output now we want to find the current again in the very similar way v in i in is equal to v out i out we have obtained that v v out is equal to uh, minus d by d minus 1 v in v in v in we can cancel and we'll get i output is equal to 1 minus d by d i input so this again gets sepic uh, sepic converter relation so one thing is to be noted that both uh, bug boost Choke, sepic, and zeta. The, these four are similar types of converter and does similar type of work. In in case of all these four converters, if d is greater than zero point five, v step uh, v input has will become less than v output. If d is less than zero point five, v inputs will become greater than v output. In case of all four converters, but in case of these two converters v output will have opposite polarity to v input and in case of sepic and zeta v output will have same polarity to v input this is to be noted so we have ended our discussion on, on all the different types of converters that we will be requiring uh, thank you so much in next we will learn to design the compo different components of the inductor uh, of the converters like that inductors and capacitors how we can design those and uh, we will 
learn about the ripple considerations and uh, continuous conduction mode considerations and everything regarding that. So that's all for now. Thank you.